Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with what appears to be some Ghostbusters equipment on the table. Tested's long and lovely friendship with the folks at Haslabs making amazing Ghostbusters toys continues. We have Kevin, one of the principal designers from Haslabs. How are you, sir? So great to be here, Adam. Thank you. Dude! <laughs> Where do we start? Oh my God, <laughs> I... Okay, it's just gonna take me a minute to kind of take this all in. Why don't we start at the far end and then move, All right. move this way? Move our way in. We'll start. This with is the a PK. single thing you guys, a single skew you guys are selling. This is two in the box. We got the <sighs> we got the trap and the PKE. We got more goodies we're gonna bring out. But yeah, we knew that we had to follow up. First, we did the Spangler Neutrona one. Then we did the Proton Pack. We had to follow it up strong. You know, the bar was raised. Yeah. <laughs> and the, I mean, and I thought the fans' response was so, all of the economy that's built up around all the 3D printing pieces, all the mods, yes. all of the augmentations. I, I love what you guys are doing and I love watching how the fans respond and the virtuous cycle that happens. It's so fun to make. I mean, listen, there's so many great collectors that we make for. The Ghostbusters fans stand out because they're, you know, as a toy designer, we're, we're makers, we're modifiers. Yeah, yeah. And that community is, and it is truly a community. And it's a conversation with them the whole way along. And we get input from them and we know that they're not just gonna buy it and put it somewhere. No. They're, no, they're, they're gonna, gonna experience buy it. And it. Use the hell out of it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And there, there's a in a lot of online communities where people are sharing information, uh, there is with every community a moment where the community decides to be open or closed. Mm -hmm. And the Ghostbusters community really from the very get-go, some of the earliest artwork that came out of the GB Fans Club were how to make your own Proton Pack if you, all you have is a hardware store account and yeah. about 50 bucks. Yeah. And the, everything stems from that to me of that kind of generosity of spirit. We wouldn't be able to do, I mean, of course our partners at Sony and Ghostcore, who have been fantastic and so, you know, instrumental in bringing this together, but the fan community is also so instrumental in making sure that we're, we're getting it right. And what is the, I mean. Well, and they have been instrumental in getting it right, not just for you guys, but also for production, right? Yes. Like they, yes. they are the brain trust. This is what I love is when a fandom becomes a brain trust that augments and helps the actual the people making the stuff. And there's authenticity to screen and to really what was made, but there's also authenticity to their collection and what they have. We want to make sure it works with that. We want to make sure I can hang it with what I already have, what's the most common equipment. So it's been so much fun to have that conversation, pivot along the way, and okay, you know, let's really at the bar. All right, all right, I'm to right, the PKA, I can't <laughs> stop looking at it. Can I? Yes. <laughs> Yes. So, and, and this so is a prototype. This these is, are all prototypes and oh, all look, that that implies. Oh, you got the on the back. We've got, oh, okay. This is so freaking cool. I'm just, it's just sinking into me what this, what this might be able to do. And oh. I think your assumptions are correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not um, polished shoes. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I love that. Um, okay. So talk to me about what you guys went through to make this PKE meter and what it can do. Yeah, of course. I mean, as with all of this stuff, and we talked about this on the Proton Pack too, we, yeah, I mean, it's. Can I start to press buttons? Go for it. That is not an actual sound effect. Again, this is a this is a programming model. Oh, this right. So it's just got a sound chip in it that's doing <laughs> yeah. some stuff. But this will take you through all the animations. Okay. Yeah. So in the, I mean, oh, that's, that's a, great a nice sound. So oh. even just the sound of the motor itself is actually kind of nice, right? It is. And you've got different settings. <gasps> there you go. There it is. Man, I don't need to tell you how to do, <laughs> do any of it. Oh, so it wow. does have a taser mode from Afterlife, and that is activated by the switch in the back. We've got all the different. If we switch here. This will, you like that little, uh, oh, again, nice. just code talk. Again, yeah. not final sound effects for this, but if we, this will help you cycle through all of the different screen displays, each each of these. I mean, we'll capture. Which one? Sorry, show me. Uh, that one, okay. Oh, and wow. all the animations match the original 84 wow. film. This is true to the afterlife. We've even got the taser. Oh, the little taser the tanks. <laughs> that makes me so happy. The LEDs up here to simulate the, uh, I mean, you'll see that when it goes in the taser mode, but the LEDs right. to simulate the taser effect and really reflects really nicely. It is. It was so much fun to work on. And as I was saying, as with all of these, we scan the actual props. Right, right. I mean, again, back to them being, there you go, there's your, your taser LED. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, I gotcha, yeah, yeah, I gotcha, yeah. yeah. No, but we scanned all the actual props. Mm -hmm. Again, such great partners. And you know, you gotta fit in all the electronics, of course, and you have to fit in the function, you have to fit in the motors, but keeping it as true as possible. I, you know, the detailing that we're able to get, and as you know, I mean, operations go into this stuff on the, on the manufacturing side, yeah. but again, looking at 
the actual models from set, looking at how fans build it, we wanted to replicate that as much as possible. Now it occurs to me, given what happens in Afterlife, that I'm wondering if you guys made this voice activated so you could talk to your dead grandpa. Uh <laughs> Like I say something. You know? development. Come on! <laughs> I watched everyone. They're like, "No, he can't do that." Why are you bringing him something he can't do? It does have an EMF function, though. Oh, okay. It does. Amazing. I mean, now listen. I wouldn't use it to make sure all the wiring in your house is totally Fair. correct, Fair. but it does have an EMF function that will activate the arms so that they can go up and down. So I get the idea that at Haslabs, that when you guys like assemble a prototype like this, it isn't just like, "Hey, boss, I've assembled the prototype." It's more like, "Dude, the prototype is ready." <laughs> oh, I, when we right? get the I, I mean, as they're being built, as they're being painted, the conversation back and forth, I mean, it is, especially, and we'll talk about it on the trap, when you get in the actual manufactured pieces and you yeah. know how good it's going to look. It's oh. an, it's like Christmas morning. Uh, I totally, I can totally imagine. I've, as you guys see, I've got all my parts over there waiting for next. We're going to do a ton of Ghostbuster stuff in the next few months. I love the little switch back here. That That's is great. That's nice. It's a nice touch. And, you know, the nice thing is, is that, again, it, Aside from this addition, aesthetically, it really represents, and what we wanted to capture here was sort of the, the universal kind of kit of Ghostbusters here. Right. That, and I'll talk about this when, you know, modifying and customizing, we know is going to be a big part of this, but we also want to make these live through the various films. We'll talk about it. Well, and so that's, that. let's move on to this trap because I, there have been a couple of traps that have been released over the years, but I really also love, uh, I'm noticing, I, these are first passes at a paint job, right? Or, I, or yeah, they, but this is, this is what we call a paint master. This is really, like, I love how subtle it is. Like, it, it, it's tricky to not overdo it. And you know, we even responded to some of feedback. We launched this, we had a particular paint job on it, and we responded to some feedback from fans, and we kind of dialed it in a little bit, especially on, now, if- I'm seeing some rust stuff that looks really spectacular, but go ahead. I was gonna point that out. Oh actually, yeah, point well, out I'm the- glad you brought up the rust. May I pick it up? Please. Uh, no. oh, does it- The V-hook is actually clipping this on here. Oh, so, so that I, it is securely... Oh, nice. Yeah. So yeah, this is what I thought was really subtle and nice. That is not easy to do uh, to get that kind of that kind of what feels like scarring or yes. you know, scoring marks from electricity. Yes. Uh, all right. Kudos to our model painter Tony, who is just fantastic at this. He's a true pro in every sense. And I mean, he. It's not just that he has to come up with a paint job. He has to come up with a paint job that can be replicated Correct. within your manufacturing guidelines. Correct. And it's a, what is it, a penny per operation or whatever uh, it is. Depending it's on the type that we do. Yeah. And a lot of these are going to be by hand, which is, you know, important. I mean, feel those. So these are die cast wheels. Whoa. Um, you've die cast. I love that you've die cast a bearing race. Yeah. The <laughs> I'm glad that you picked hilarious. up on that. So we didn't want to leave out the, ball, no. the bearing details. And they those are, feel great. They roll. So this is a nine foot cable, and it oh, has got a roll. Oh, you made it so it actually. Oh, look at that, you guys. And the <laughs> the weight is really important. I mean, it really helps to propel it. it. It rolls like butter. I love that. You. I mean, it's so. I don't, it's, I'm sort of moved by you thinking through the play patterns because toy companies. Oh, oh wait, they think through play patterns. But it's hilarious to me to think through play patterns for adults. I, well, I mean, and, and it's so true because listen, it, with the Ghostbusters fan too, we wanted, it, this isn't just, I mean, this display is yeah. great. It isn't just display, it's no. play too. And it's play and it's, and it's, and it's cosplay, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna unveil one of the, one of the tiers here, which is- You're gonna release stuff. this too? Yes. Oh, wow. That's a hunk of metal. Oh, that is, good God. Well, you know, I, we appreciated that you always notice, especially when you did the Spangler and the Toronto one, you know, even the, the aluminum dial uh, on the clippered valve. Totally. We we know that you love the metal. We, we went metal on this it one. It makes man. a real difference. It makes, I mean, it also makes a difference because you know that this will be out there trooping 20 years from now. Yes. Right, like this, this no amount of abuse is going to yes. render this unusable. And then you can clip this right to your freaking belt. Yep. Oh my God. Yep. And oh, the right. strap and will go around and support. You don't have to right, do it right, now, right, but the strap right. will go around to support oh, the handle. Oh, dude, that's great. Yeah. Oh my God, that must have been um, a fair bit of engineering to make sure that that was well, robust enough. It was, and to clear the wheels. And listen, we know that you know there's there's function, there's form, there's accuracy, but there's also just the user friendly piece of it. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to make sure that it slides on there nicely. That is super, super cool. Um, okay, so I, we haven't even gotten to the features of no. this thing yet. Okay, <laughs> talk to me about the trap, the, the trap pedal combo. 
All right, trap pedal cup. First thing you're gonna notice here, we do have these pneumatic valves. Mm -hmm. Well, you know you can't run currency through a pneumatic valve. I mean, I don't have to tell you yeah, any of yeah. these things, right? So these are actually dummies. These are for display. I can take these off when I'm in display mode. I've got these on, but oh. I can remove them. So you can just take that off. Yes, yeah, so it looks authentic, but then I reveal the port for the GX, and this is a, you know, this is a GV, GX aviation cable connector. Okay, just a little plug three in pin. Here. Oh yes. my God, that's great. So this so goes it in there. So threads in really nicely. Oh, and then you send that, and you guys have this, chosen uh, the, this stuff to be flexible enough that it goes out nine feet. Yes, yes. Now there is the corrugated loom that we could have used on this, and of course, if somebody were to put split loom over top of this, they yep, could, yep. but this rolls. Got some right here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Literally, that's for this project. I think we're gonna set up an office up here just so we can come over and uh, <laughs> oh, I would be fine pick through that. your shop. Um, but this, is, this has the strength. It also uncoils very nicely. I know. There's probably not four feet of space in this place, yeah, it, let alone it is nine. That kind of, we, <laughs> but this uncoils very yeah, let's, nicely. Let's do this. I think we can try this down here. Let me just give this a shot here. <laughs> Dude! I never thought I'd get so much satisfaction. That is fantastic. <laughs> uh, we lost our screen in there. But oh, yeah, Now's a good time to talk right, about the screen be being shot. removable. No, it's, it's, it's just uh, bounced around. Look at me hitting the mark. Here's and it. you have a set of different functions I can activate with the pedal and different choices I can make about its functionality. Correct, well, and I'm glad you brought up different choices. So we've got the, the relay on here, of course. Mm -hmm. We've got the metal plate for the relay, a couple Phillips head screws here as well. I can take the relay, uh -huh. orient it this way to be more accurate with Afterlife. Amazing. So now there's some customization so built into it right out of the box. People can choose which franchise yes. they're. And to that end, I'm gonna see what I did with them here. But the ion rods as well. I can swap out these oh. red ion rods on the side with the silver ones for Ghostbusters too. And if I do, I may or may not be unlocking some <gasps> Easter egg ghost sounds in there as well. Dude, that is so <laughs> thrilling. I mean, it just feels like it's made by fans for fans. I, I, and I know that is the charge, right? It, it truly is. And, it, and it's you know such a, such a pleasure when we get to combine those two things. But I'll walk you through the rest. I mean, I think yeah. over here, this is what our, our fantastic electronic engineer has dubbed the Spectre Selector. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I love it. <laughs> right? So as I run through this, we know there's a whole catalog of fantastic, iconic ghosts of the franchise. Right, right. We wanted to celebrate all of them and the sound effects of this. Of course. And, and you guys built this uh, a cavity in here big enough to accommodate uh, 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 some things, whatever you might whatever want to put in there. Want to but put you've in there. allowed a, a cavity. cavity. There's a bit of a cavity. There's some space. Yeah. So the screen here is is removable. We'll have a little tab in there for in production right, for easy right. removal. There are six high powered LEDs. Oh, in so this. it'll light up really nicely. Oh. Yep. And then bringing it around, there are so you know of course the. Sync, this will allow you, there is a motor in here. It's a pretty high powered motor that, you know, obviously when I activate this, I'm gonna yeah. get the lights, I'm gonna get the sound, but yeah. also the rumbling, it brings it to life. And each of these switches has an effect on the operation. All the, all the switches move, these two affect the operation. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this Fair will enough. address the animation on my uh, meter. So then here. there are switches that people could repurpose to do other things if they wanted to. That aren't to are there switches that don't go to anything? There are switches that don't go to anything. That's really cool. Yeah, the fans yeah. are going to use that. If now they they function, but then there are two switches here that function. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And two switches here that that can move. But unfortunately, we loaded so many features into this you, thing you that out. you can, you you run out eventually. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> uh, and then a volume control over on this side as well. To, a volume really control. All the parents, infrared. thank you for the volume control. <laughs> Naturally. Um, and then of course, the pedal will right. open oh, the Oh, and that activates, the pedal activates the doors of and course. activates the light and sound show. Of and course. That might change depending on what ghost you're capturing. Correct. Yeah, and there's a couple different settings. So there is an actual kind of play function yeah. that has the different sound effects. And then we also have a prop function. So there are two different modes with this switch here. So it can just run through prop sounds if you want it Correct. to. Correct. And this switch here, actually, because this releases the trap, typically this is the switch that'll operate it. We do have a hidden switch underneath. Oh, wait, trip that releases the trap, it's separate? The cartridge it, it comes separates no! from the carrier. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scream <laughs> about that. But this is, 
That is amazing. I love that you made the cartridge separate. We can put it in the trap. The light is green. <laughs> the trap is clean. Oh my God. Now I want to build one of the, 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 what do you call it? The wall thing you put this the, in. The containment unit. The containment all right, unit. We're going to have to come back for that episode. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And the batteries are all housed in here. So as I remove this, you know, my meter is still going to display. Oh. It's still going to have function inside oh, of it. Oh, right. You've the got batteries a whole conduct spring into this. pin. Oh my God. Yes. That's great. Which is actually the same location of the pin in the movie. If you, if you, if you just get the frame just right. <laughs> Dude, uh, you know, what's so fun, we, we got to spend a week on the set yeah. of Frozen Empire. And uh, so many of the, what's beautiful about this is it actually does things, right? It's actually a practical machine and a prop that does these things. And the same was true of production. Like every effect was a practical effect. Yes. And we went from desk to desk to desk to just beaming engineers having so much fun building the crazy stuff they were building for Frozen Empire. We they're gonna go nuts over this. Uh, that's the hope. We 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 aim to please with this. And again, we know that Ghostbusters fans love to be a part of it. And as you said, to have something to do with all of this. There's so much, you know, there's just so much, you know, finger food in here yes. to play with. And there's there's something to discover kind of around every corner, which is which is really the hope with this. Um, and even capturing the right function, the cadence of the right lighting sequence. After the ghost is trapped, after the door is shut, having the right beep sequence and, and the light, the power indicator on the front. You know, there are things that we just want to make sure we're authentic. Amazing. It is I, the idea that potentially changing parts out between movies will actually change functionality to make those movie sounds is really amazing. Um, and all of this, I actually, I keep forgetting to go to this beautiful thing, but all of this beauty starts out as something like this. This is how the sausage is made. I mean, this is our, I, you know, again, hat tip to our fantastic electronic engineer, Zach. This is, this is the programming model right here. Yeah, it looks like a piece of cardboard with some wires on it, because mostly is. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> elastic hot glue to hold this down and some, Stuff for the shielding, but this is this is the problem solving board. Yes, it is. Yeah, amazing. And then this all gets incorporated into all of it. But so the the light sequence, the animation sequence. There's a speaker in here for the sound effects. This is kind of gray model stage. This all gets incorporated into the program. You can see you got the port here, so we yeah, can update yeah, the yeah. code and everything else. That is, I mean, this this just as an artifact makes me so happy. <laughs> um. I, so I, 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 am, I, I feel like your guys' meetings must be you sitting around talking about how cool the thing you're going to make is and that everybody comes up with an idea and you just keep saying yes. Is well, that how those go? <laughs> and and, and, and we, we just hear dollar signs yeah, every exactly. time. So we got to balance that. You're right. But there's so much passion among the whole team. We have a great brand creative team that is always contributing great ideas to this. And you know the wonderful thing about a HasLab campaign is that you often have the room to figure out how do we roll that out? How do we make that matter? How do yeah. we add that to the product? You know, to that point, we put so much care into this thing. We want to make sure that you have something to carry it around. Oh, in. So there is a also PKE a holster for the PKE holster. holster. And are you guys using it's, in, it's synthetic leather? It is. Oh, that's great. It yeah. feels yeah, really it's a great. Nice, yeah. You know, I'm, yeah, let's go. Do it. There you go. It looks terrific. Um, yeah. I really appreciate Hasbro and the HasLabs team for embracing the fandom and embracing what fandom can do with your stuff after you've let it out and learning from, I mean, it just feels like there's this, it doesn't feel like a product is being delivered to people. It feels like a community. It, it really, I mean, to that point, I mean, really we, you know, pardon the pun here, but we know that the fans are going to wear their love for this on their sleeves. and on the, Literally <laughs> on their sleeves, right? <laughs> and so having these things as part of that, and as I, as I mentioned, you know, it's such a collaborative effort. It's a it's a big, broad team, and we're always bringing ideas to the table. And you know, unveiling these patches as part of the campaign. That is a lovely looking patch. Now, this is the this is the original. Yeah. I mean, you know yeah. about all yeah, of this, yeah, so yeah. we wanted to make sure it's 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 a little. It's so funny because like the thumb is slightly <laughs> yep. off, and that's exactly right. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> yep. Those little imperfections are actually what make. Make it right. Yeah, indeed, indeed. I mean, especially they were working on 1970s embroidery yeah, of course. as well. Of course. So um, yeah, we've got a slew of different patches that ooh, get released. Ooh, a stay puffed Of course, a little patch. mini puffed, no ghost. That and then, is really cool. Oh, dude. A custom has oh, patch. Oh, the black and yellow stripes. 
Oh, that is very cool. Are there any um, even more exclusive patches coming down the line? Maybe? There is potentially one that uh, has yet to be unveiled. I Can we unveil it here? We're allowed to? Yes, we're getting a thumbs we up. Did we did get a thumbs PR. up yeah. from yep. the, uh, uh, man, I had it so well hidden just in case it was <laughs> it's accidentally revealed. Dude. So this is the Ghostbusters Engineer Core patch. That is freaking sweet. And this is, this is you guys are releasing this or? Provided we we really we reach that tier, we're right now just above sixteen thousand, you know, almost halfway All to right. seventeen thousand. The uh, goal, I mean, we've met the goal to make this. Yep, this yep. is going to happen. Freaking awesome! Right? And and. 20,000, if we get to 20,000 backers, 20, that's this all it new takes. batch is unveiled. And we all get these. Come on, guys. Come on. I've, put, I've done my part. <laughs> you got to do yours. I literally, I signed up for this, okay? That's amazing. Dude, that is thrilling. Yeah, we're excited. And again, this is just an example of the partnership of, you know, staying in lockstep and always reveal the newest stuff. And I, I just, I, even down to you guys having that, like, little empty compartment on the side of the Proton Pack. And all of the different 3D printing excursions fans have done with the yes. inside of that. I, I, I just, I want other toy companies and other makers of propage to take note of what you guys are doing <laughs> and follow suit. Because like, <clears throat> when I make a piece uh, that is really important to me, when I'm done with it, it goes out and affects people in different ways yeah. that I intended. And that's part of the lovely process. And I can't control that, nor do I want to. And I, again, I'm just gonna keep on saying, I really appreciate Hasbro and Haslabs for not for building a narrative that can go wherever you'd like it to go, not trying to control it wholly. That's such a great way of summarizing it. And you know, we have fans and you in mind as a fan. I mean, this is really, it, it makes it easy to truly say this is a passion project when we know that there's gonna be this degree of delight at the end of the day. And by the way, this is all, I'm, yeah, we're kind of retreading here, but yeah. this is, yeah, no, this that's is aluminum metal plate, plate on the side, aluminum plate here and here. Um, but I mean, again, back to exactly what you're saying. I mean, these are things that we wanted to make as authentic as possible, but even this here, like all these screws are real. Yeah. All of these yeah. can come out oh, and, and be replaced. So freaking awesome. All right, uh, so this is Hasbro's Haslabs division, Proton Trap and PKE meter, it's all coming as one unit, and if we can get above 20,000 orders, Everyone gets one of these. Um, thank you so much for bringing these toys. I know we gave you not a lot of notice, uh, and I really appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks for bringing your passion. We appreciate it. This has been a, such a pleasure. Absolutely. All right, thank you guys for joining. We'll see you next time. Who are you gonna call? <laughs>